Hey, good weekend everyone. How are you all doing? Got a lot later and it's time for a shave. Hope everyone has had a great weekend. I hope your upcoming week you get some good plants. Uh, hope you're being warm. <laughs> I hope everyone you love is safe. So for today, I don't think I've used this on video. I've had it for a couple months. I've only used it like once, maybe twice. It's a passionately natural soap co root beer. I got this from Stonefield Shaving. That's a distributor in Canada. Uh, these guys are out of uh, Philadelphia. <clears throat> and of course, it's supposed to smell like root beer. <laughs> what else can it smell like? So, it's supposed to smell specifically like a root beer barrel candies from when you were a kid. Scent wise, to me, I kind of give like off the puck like a barks, you know, barks has bite kind of deal. Um, maybe it's a little more minty to it. My wife got, uh, she said, I sent her back to being a kid. So it might be doing its job there. Let's get some water in the face here for you guys. <clears throat> I'll get the shave going. Excuse me. So this is a vegan soap. Um, they do try to specialize in keeping all their bath and body products uh, all natural, 100% natural. And they actually steam their distilled essential oils to get the scents. Sorry, I went right up my nostrils. <laughs> they want something that's good for your skin. No chemicals that can be absorbed. That's what they go for. Um, using, of course, my Erebus and Terror pre-coin. Uh, purple Heartwood. I can't remember what this is in right here. Apologize. I think it's maple. With the uh, 25 millimeter two band uh, finest knot. So when I saw this said I had to give it a try. Um, pretty to be honest, it wasn't the hugest barks fan when I drank pop. Dad's old fashioned root beer is my favorite. Harder to get in glass bottles only, blah, blah, blah. Usually health stores. But. I love, I do love the smell of root beer. Even a and root beer is a really great scent. So. I may have overhydrated this slightly today. I thought I had it perfect in the bowl, but I guess I didn't. All right. Let's see. See how this does. I do have a little over two days growth. Last time I shaved was Friday morning. This is Sunday afternoon. Give it a shot. Also, while we're doing this, my buddy J Mac, Justin the Red Island Shaver, is 40 this weekend. His birthday was yesterday, along with his seven year shaving anniversary kind of cool that his shaving anniversary coincides with his birthday every year <laughs> um pop over over to his channel the red island shaver i'll link it below um in case you don't subscribe to him already say happy birthday to the dude he's a really good guy um he really helped me out when i was starting out especially with the straight razors and uh i'm very proud and happy to call him a friend and a brother of the wet shaving community so for today, I was realized I hadn't used this for about a month or so on video. <laughs> Bring my core back out. Um, I love this blade. You guys saw me use my new art razor uh, last shave video, just before I went to the cabin with the first Canadian age on it, which is amazing. I think it's slightly nicer than this edge, to be honest, but what can you do? So with the green guys, see how the soap performs. Does well. Does this feel like the slickest soap I've ever used? No. Um, but it, it, it has more than enough slickness. Very easy. I'm 
which you might have to slightly under hydrate. Which is interesting, it's dissipating a little bit. Didn't do that last time I used it. Um, we'll see how this goes. So, uh, part of the reason for bringing the Cora out today too, is my shaving brothers, uh, Magic Mike and Phil What Chase on Instagram. They both got their Corats in last week. And they used them on lives this week on uh, Lather and Blade on Facebook. I did a dual, sh dual shave, which is really cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Worked out really well for the audio this time for them. Which was nice. And they got the uh, Philly 14 style. So it's called the 14. 2.0 2 style. Uh, I based mine on the Sheffield style, but I still want a Philly style from them. I love the Corat blades. They're just beautiful blades, excellent workmanship, great pricing. I mean, all around they're hard. The hard act to beat for a custom straight razor. So it feels good. Um, so it was slick enough. And like I said, I think I got the hydration wrong here today, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see what happens on the second pass here. So. <laughs> my last video was just before I uh, left for the cabin there last week. And I took a three day weekend out. So I did my video Thursday morning for you guys. So it's been a little over a week, I'm sorry for that. The cabin was amazing. I really needed that break. Like snowmobiling, skating, messing around, tinkering around the cabin, fixing a few things. It was really a good time. Weather uh, cooperated, which was awesome. I don't know how many hours I spent on that snowmobile. <laughs> Probably at least eight, minimal, I might say. And probably a good five skating. It was a lot of time on them. I really, really enjoyed it. So, um, like I said, the weather was perfect for it. You know, minus 10 ish, I think, minus eight, minus 10 the first day we went out, and then it warmed up to about zero. It was just beautiful. So. I honestly can't wait to get back. Hopefully going back out and a couple weekends should be really good. Uh, weather, of course, permitting. Can't get the kids out there when it's really cold, but yeah. So. going really well so far. So I'm doing what it needs to, letting the blade glide. I don't think I'm going to reopen that. I think we're good so far. <laughs> so, <clears throat> someone was talking about this on one of the Facebook groups the other day, and they're asking how you do cross the grain on the neck and that kind of stuff. So my hair goes straight in the center here, kind of sideways like this, angles like this, pretty much straight up and down here too, just the opposite direction in the center. I just go with the grain. You try to do sideways in the neck, you're, you're just asking for trouble, guys. <laughs> you can try some J-hooks if you like, I guess. For me, I just pretty, try, pretty much try to keep it north to south. The bump is still there. Oh, I might have my ear. Um, thankfully, I haven't been opening that lately. 
which is good. It really annoys me when I do that. You know, if I was to let this dehydrate down right now, I could go out for the day like this. Like this is close enough, but <clears throat> you know we're going closer. We're going through past three guys, as always. Let's load this up here nicely. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I know the camera color is probably changing, guys. I gave up. I just want to shave and have fun with you guys. So if it bothers you, I'm really sorry. But I can't afford to replace it right now. So. It is what it is. <laughs> Anyway, so coming, I think I'm gonna do a uh, put the straights away on video for you guys for a little bit. I might pull out some of my SEs. Haven't used them on video for a while. Just change things up for you guys a little bit. And you appreciate you watching me use the straight all the time. It's my passion. It's what I'm really enjoying. Um, but I know it's not what everyone wants to see. So we will get that done. Oh, speaking of straights, if you guys watch BBS Live. Melly Mel, just see so he got his very first, what he calls his true straight razor. I know he used to have a gold dollar, but he got a uh, Ace of Spades round point now, and it's going to Magic Mike for a new edge. So congrats, Mel. Stretch that a little bit more, but it worked out okay. We're gonna cut ourselves. We're good. That's always a big concern, right? <laughs> Feeling really good. So far, the shave is going excellent. Wish I had some wood to knock on so I don't jinx myself. these things guys some about these blades I got myself right there guys thinking where I was gonna take this conversation instead of paying attention and I used the wrong angle and I dug it in I know uh, CDB talks a lot during the straight razor shapes. I just can't. I do need to concentrate my ADHD. Otherwise it gets the best of me like that. <laughs> Ruined a, didn't ruin it, but. He gave J-Mac his offering for his birthday weekend. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. That'll scar probably. That's okay. Damn. Oh. 
Try to stay in the moment. Every time I don't, shit happens. All right, let's just check the rest of the shave out. Feels really good. Even through there is not bad. So I'm gonna do any little quick cleanups right there I wanna do, guys. I'm gonna put something on here to stop this from bleeding. I'll be right back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. Beautiful feeling shave. I honestly ruined the perfect shave by doing that stupidity, but still an awesome feeling shave. It's BBS, it's smooth. Put the almond block in between to help seal this up. And then I went all over it and there's no sting or what's no for me. Alma always makes me sting a little bit. Just a wonderful shave. So I don't have any splash. There's no splash that goes with this product. And I gave my unscented uh, Barbara splash to my father-in-law as he got into this. So we're going to skip that step today. What these guys do offer is a bomb. It looks like a massively large lip gloss container. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just scrolled some of it up. I'm going to work it in my hand. That's probably way too much. A little of this goes a long way, guys. Rub it all together, warm it up, and I apply it to my face. Now this is cocoa butter based. Um, I do find it a little greasy. Being honest, I don't quite like the skin feel of this. It hydrates well, does great. I wish it absorbed a little better. Um, and it didn't leave my skin feeling a little tad oily. I can't remember how this absorbs in the long run, so we'll find out. Um, I'll put it in the notes below. But I'll put the ingredients up for both the soap and this for you guys. Probably around a medium or just under percent strength for this too. The soap's probably a little bit stronger to be honest. So there you go. Here's my weekend shave. Hope you're all having smooth shaves. Hope you're having great time in the groups, great time with your families. I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Remember to go say happy birthday to JMac. And uh, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for leaving comments below. I look forward to seeing you guys next weekend. Happy shaving.